the universe is stored the most powerful force of the universe in two of the most fragile oh, staffs, yeah. oh, right, right. the human spine. Right, right. There are some wadi ceramics of the coastal area that show the two staff. So maybe that's not so much just the Awanaka. Uh, and yesterday in the museum with some people who were watching at the Lord of Sipan with a staff that at the top, you know, the, it has the constellation above the three Marys, the belt around, Orion's belt. We saw that staff in gold in a picture at the museum yesterday in Pukara. <laughs> so the staff was basic. <clears throat> Even in our legends, they speak of the staff being power, you know, being... Um, symbol of, of power. So you had to have a staff. The second thing that, I'm, that, a, that a medicine man in the Andes has besides a mesa, which is the altar, is the staff. Why do you think in the north all the huachumeros, all the, all the coastal shamans have on one side the staff which represent their ancient, ancient energies and on the other side, the swords, mm -hmm. which represent what they're, what they're uh, going to battle against also. They're always battling. So sometimes when it's something very intense, they use the sword to cut the energy, to cut the heavy vibrations as they were cutting it with light. Mm -hmm. But when it's already too intense and it's already too much of a battle, like when they can almost not handle it, they use the staff because that's not only the stuff they're using with their energy, that's ancestral force. So you would have to have a staff in the Andes to become a very powerful healer. And maybe that's why their gods always had a staff, to the point that the sun god had two, which was a man and a woman. Isn't that cool? This culture, traditions in the planet, and not only in this planet, but even our times in the stars because we were first stellar beings. If you ask anybody, you know, where we come from, in the community, they'll tell you the stars. That's our origins. Then we were lunar beings, because there was not much light in this planet. And then we became solar cultures, only in the last 35,000 years. Recently, just yesterday. <laughs>